Hello, Ryan here, and today I'll be talking about the top 10 prehistoric animals that I think would make great to decent pets if they were still alive today. Number 10, Europosaurus. This dwarf brachiosaur lived in Germany, which was an island at that time around the late Jurassic, 154 to 150 million years ago. I think it will, would be a decent pet because it's very small compared to its relatives on the mainland, it being just the, the size of a large horse, while its mainland counterpart, probably the short pots you're familiar with, are plain whale sized. Meaning that feeding them will be expensive since they require lots of food. While a Europosaurus will just require much less out upkeep, S like similar to a horse. This isn't on the number one spot though. Since this creature can grow to over 20 feet long, so you will need decently sized housing, like a pastor of some sort. Number 9 Mega Piranha. Believe it or not, piranhas can be interesting pets for those who keep large predatory fish. As a matter of fact, their cousins. Herbivorous, omnivorous, pakus are quite popular in the pet trade. There's this misconception about piranhas, which is that they'll automatically bite you and can reduce a human to a skeleton in seconds. But in reality, piranhas can be relatively shy slash timid, and some of them mean eat fruit. And them being able to reduce a Human to a skeleton within seconds is just a myth. Mega Piranha is an omnivore, meaning that it'll probably have a bit more peaceful behavior than the typical carnivorous piranhas you'd usually think of. You should still be careful handling it though, considering that this fish has a bite force of 500 kilograms. Mega Piranha is a prehistoric relative of piranhas and pakus that lived during the late Miocene from 9 to 6 million years ago in Argentina. It is number one because this paku sized piranha will require a large tank to, to keep it and its handling set before. Number 8 Diectodon this small mammal-like reptile, healing from Africa and China during the late Permian 259 to 254 million years ago, would make a good pet because of its small size, it only being slightly bigger than guinea pig, as well as its herbivorous nature and relative cuteness. But one thing to keep in mind about this creature is that it's a burrower, so me probably meaning they all dig holes in your lawn. <laughs> Number seven, Billsy Bufo. This large horn frog coming from Madagascar 70 million years ago in the late Cretaceous will be a bit more easier to handle because it's a frog and frogs make great pets, but one thing to keep in mind about this frog is that it can grow pretty large. A specimen was found and estimated to be 9 inches long, but its bone structure shows that it's a juvenile, so an adult will be much bigger. Estimates go at, for the adult size go as high as 
16 inches long. So it will need pretty large housing and feeding. This thing is big enough to eat baby dinosaurs. It also has a pretty powerful bite and has armored scoots. Something unlike any other amphibian. Number 6. Lystrosaurus. This larger relative of the Diectodon, failing from the Permian period 260 to 240 million years in the early Triassic, living in Antarctica, China, India, Mongolia, Russia, and South Africa. Well, make a good fit because it's basically a larger non-burrowing version of the Diectodon meaning that your lawn would probably be safe it's also around the size of a small dog to a large pig number five Microraptor if you wanted a raptor dinosaur as a pet, Microraptor would be a good choice. It lived in China during the early Cretaceous, 125 to 113 billion years ago. Microraptor would make a great pet. This three foot long gliding dromaeosaur with just a 3 foot wingspan and weighs 1 kilogram will be quite easy to carry and also feeds on small critters so you just have to give it small food something like feeder animals and it'll be cool to see it glide from one place to another. So you better have some places where the ammo can climb up and glide to. Microraptor was originally going to be number one on this list, but I had to take it off since I found some other ammos that will be more easier to take care of. And it may or may not be nocturnal you're going to have to look out for that number four Dino Galerix Dino Galerix lived in Italy which was an island at the time during the late Miocene 11 to 5 million years ago this two foot long relative of moon rats and hedgehogs should be quite easy to care for considering it's just a larger version of a hedgehog slash moon rat. Just look out for the potential smell due to it be related to moon rats. Number 3 Longi Squama. This 6 inch reptile healing from the mid to late Triassic 242 to 225 million years ago in Kyrgyzstan should make a great pet since it's easy to care for it considering it's a small reptile and small reptiles make great pets due to their low maintenance lifestyles it also probably fed on insects and plants meaning that feeding it won't be an issue. Number 2. Neuralagus This 3 foot long 25 kilogram rabbit from the island of Minorca, Spain during the late Miocene to late Pliocene 5 to 3 million years ago should also be easy to take care of since it's really just a giant bunny rabbit. The 
popular and easygoing pet. And, and before we get to our number one list, here's an honorable mention. Dwarf or Pygmy Elephant. What specifically the ones from the Mediterranean Islands? 450,000 to 3,000 years ago. Modern elephants don't make d good or even decent pets because of their large size and have a bit of a hard time adjusting to new climates since they now live in warm climates on the mainland in Africa and in Asia but dwarf elephants eliminate that problem due to them being much smaller than their mainland relatives and they live in a cooler climate meaning that you'll have enough space for them and the climate they'll be living in shouldn't be a problem. Elephants in general can be empathetic and can form a bond with you if they're raised correctly. So I'm pretty sure that a dwarf elephant will make a decent pet. The reason why it didn't make the top 10 it is because that pet elephants are kind of a stretch. Though I said that they are smaller and more adjustable to climates. And during the breeding season, elephants go through a stage of must is when the glands sends a bitter taste to an elephant's mouth, causing it to go angry. So it a dwarf elephant it must could charge at you even though it's quite small it, it can still chase you with its tusks and then there's a dishonorable mention mesosaurus this aquatic reptile from south africa and south america during the early permian period 299 to 280 million years ago would make a poor pet because it's a filter feeder and has an elongated snout meaning that you're going to have to find some tiny food to feed it and it could bang its nose in its enclosure Number 1 Cetacosaurus This ancestor of the Triceratops from China, Mongolia, Russia, and Thailand during the early Cretaceous 126 to 100 million years ago is number one on this list because it's just the a size of a large Labrador dog and you'll just have to feed it plants meaning that your upkeep will be easy and you could possibly train it to go indoors and outdoors so, do you agree with my list? Do you agree with its position of the contestants? And which prehistoric animal from this list would you want as a pet? Ryan Chin, signing out.